Hi everyone, this is Flying Gaming Connoisseur and today I'm bringing you a review video of my Origin Eon 11S and this is a follow-up to the unboxing video which I uploaded um, some time before so if you haven't seen it and would like to see it please check it out in my channel listing and so today this review is going to be about uh, the things that I like and don't like about this laptop so thank you for joining me and so um, let's get down to it okay so the first thing I like about this laptop is that um, when I turned the laptop on I discovered that the latest NVIDIA graphics card drivers were already installed for me by the Origin team and that meant that I didn't have to um, uh, install the drivers myself and I could just go straight into downloading and playing my games so that's that's a great thing you know Origin has gone the extra mile to um, to do that for you and also the um, I will also mention that the NVIDIA uh, GeForce GT 650M in this laptop uh, can be, um, its drivers can be upgraded. Uh, so what that means that is that uh, whenever NVIDIA releases a new graphics driver, you can install those. So that means that you'll never be uh, stuck with old drivers. Um, so that's really good, I think. Okay, so um, the other thing I like about this laptop is that um, when I turn it on, um, there was already a local account under my name, so Origin has um, uh, you know done that setup process for me. So you know instead of having to um, go through that Windows setup process, um, you can just go straight into um, using your laptop, and so I think that's a great thing that Origin um, has. Um, gone ahead and done most of the work for you. Okay, so um, I've also tested the graphical performance of this laptop um, with the hardware configuration that I chose and I was able to play many games on their maxed or almost maxed out settings. So um, just to give you several examples, um, I've played Crisis on the very high preset minus the anti-aliasing. Um, Deus Ex Human Revolution on the maxed out settings, uh, EVE Online on the quality preset, and um, XCOM Enemy Unknown on the high preset. So all these games I've played on, the, uh, on this laptop's native resolution and at very smooth frame rates. Um, but however, I've had to uh, disable vertical sync um, just to keep the frame rates up. Okay, so also I've um, uh, I've chosen to have a SSD installed on this laptop, so that meant that um, Windows 8 and all my programs um, loaded up really quickly. And so, um, just to give you um, an idea of how fast that is, I'm going to give you a demonstration. And so as you can see, uh, Windows 8 booted up really quickly and um, so that's one good thing about having an SSD in your laptop. And um, also with, the, uh, with this laptop there is a um, battery charging indicator um, which I'll show you. Um, so as you can see down at the bottom here you see these two LED lights. Um, so the one on the right is the battery charging indicator. Uh, so basically when it's red, uh, it means that the battery is still not fully charged. Um, however, when it turns green, it means that the battery is um, fully charged. So that's good because um, I like to unplug my battery charger when the battery is fully charged uh, rather than leaving the charger plugged in and so that's one other good thing about this laptop and um, also 
Uh, this laptop came with zero bloatware and um, so when I turned it on for the first time I didn't find any um, uh, useless software programs installed and um, so the only additional software that was installed here was the uh, THX uh, audio software um, and that one I would not consider as bloatware because um, it's actually part of the audio system in this laptop so so that's really great that Origin has kept um, kept the laptop free of any bloatware okay so um, also I think one good thing about this laptop is that the um, the thermal vent is on the left rather than on the back so just to show you um, if you look carefully underneath the HDMI port and the audio jacks there is a thermal vent right there and so instead of having to worry about making sure there's enough room at the back for the hot air to go out um, I can just let the hot air go out from the left and from underneath so that's I think that's a good design uh, feature of this laptop and and also I think you know uh, during winter when I play games I can keep my left hand warm so <laughs> Um, so that's a good thing. Okay, so um, one other thing that I like about this laptop is the uh, the hinge. Um, I think it feels and looks really sturdy and well designed. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna um, have any problems in the long term. So, um, so I think you know that's one good thing about this laptop as well. Um, so one other thing that I like about this laptop is the um, is the fact that the battery is user serviceable. Um, so what that means is that if you look underneath the laptop, there is a switch, um, so so that when you push it, you allow you to um, remove the battery. And so I like that about this laptop. And um, so. Not only do I like this laptop, but I also like how um, Origin um, PC um, they offer free lifetime support and labor. And so what that means is that even when your warranty expires, um, if you have um, if you have if you have need of technical support or um, you need repairs or upgrades to your laptop, you can call them and they will uh, help you out with um, with that and that will help you out with questions um, so that's free of charge for the lifetime of this laptop and so I think that's really great that Origin offers that kind of support to its customers okay so I just wanna just say one good thing about Origin PC is that they offer really good customer support um, well at least in my experience um, when I was looking to buy a laptop from them, I um, I made several email inquiries, and um, and each time um, I got a really good response from them. Um, so, and not only that, but I got the help from the same person, and so I think that's really good um, customer sales support um, because you know it's not like when you contact a PC company and and each time you get someone different or someone who just passes you off to someone else or doesn't know what you're talking about um, so that's that's one good thing about Origin PC is that they really know their stuff and they're very helpful um, so I'll just mention one more thing before I move on to the cons of this laptop and that is um, the founders of Origin PC are longtime gamers as well so I feel that if you're a gamer then when you buy a laptop or a desktop from them um, you feel that the company really understands your needs and um, and how uh, a gaming laptop or a desktop should be built okay so I'm just going to go through some of the cons of this laptop and um, and while there's not that many things I could um, gripe about this laptop there are just a few things so one of the first things I would say is that uh, this laptop, as you can see, has no backlit keyboard, and um, I would have liked to see 
one, uh, a backlit keyboard in this laptop because um, I own an Alienware M11X and um, and I'm used to having uh, you know backlit keyboards so I can play my games in the dark. So I think you know if Origin, uh, if they're thinking of refreshing the uh, Eon 11S, maybe that's um, something they can consider. Maybe putting in a, a backlit keyboard. And um, I find that some of the keys are a little bit too small on this laptop. And um, and and even for someone like me, because um, I have um, pretty slim, pretty slender fingers, as you can see. Um, so even for someone like me, I find that some of the keys, like the Escape and the F1 to F12 keys, are a little bit too small. And um, and so I, I think that um, maybe that's something that Origin PC can look into next time. Okay, so um, also this laptop is um, is actually designed by Clevo. Um, so this this laptop has actually um, uh, been used by other companies to build their own laptop lines. Um, so in Origin PC's case, they've just um, you know custom designed the um, the screen panel and put their own logo on it. So other than that, you know the the body is is pretty much um, Clevo. So, um, but you know I would have liked um, to see Origin PC design the whole laptop by themselves, uh, something like what Alienware has done. Um, also, um, the left side of the laptop where the um, WASD keys are. Um, I find that when I put my left hand uh, near that left side, um, it gets pretty warm, and that's I think that's probably due to the fact that the um, thermal vent is on the left side. Um, so normally when I'm playing shooters, um, first person shooters, I sort of have to lift my um, left wrist of the of the palm rest um, just to keep it from getting too warm. So um, that's one thing that I didn't like too much about this laptop. And um, and with the power button on the on this laptop, um, on several occasions I have found it to be a little bit um, hard to turn the laptop on when I press it. Um, sometimes I have to press it in a certain spot or um, keep it hold down for um, you know maybe a second or two before it actually uh, turn the laptop on. So um, so I'm not sure whether that's the um, the fault is with the power button or whether it's just um, maybe it's just something I'm, I'm not doing right. I don't know, but but that is just something that I've that I've discovered. Okay, so one of the other things I would have liked to see on the Eon 11s is for the um, the USB 3.0 ports to be on the right side um, of the laptop instead of being on the left. Um, that's because I use a wireless headset and a uh, wireless mouse. For gaming and so uh, when I plug the uh, USB sticks um, for the mouse on the left um, I do notice that there's um, quite a bit of lag and um, in the mouse responsiveness and so and if you consider that the uh, on the right side of the Eon 11s there's um, quite a bit of empty space there and so it just sort of makes sense uh, for more ports and um, jacks to be on the uh, right side instead of being just everything being cramped in on the left um, however um, having said that um, I've figured out a way to fix that problem and um, and I've and that is I've plugged in a USB hub and so as you can see now the um, there's no longer a distance uh, such a distance uh, long distance between the USB stick and the wireless mouse so the lag problem is no longer no longer there as, as far as I can see. So um, that's definitely one thing that I think Origin PC can look into next time when they refresh the uh, Eon 11s. Uh, the battery in this laptop is well I'd say it's good but it's not spectacular. Um, I get about five hours uh, during light use and maybe one hour or more um, during gaming so so it's not a it's not like a, a battery that allows you to use the laptop for seven or eight hours. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. 
Okay, so we've reached the end of this uh, review. Um, so, just to summarize, um, I do like this laptop a lot, and um, I'm really glad with the purchase. And um, so, this laptop has definitely exceeded my expectations, and um, and I do like the uh, the features and the design uh, of this laptop in many areas. Um, however, I will also say that um, there are definitely room for improvement and so um, you know I hope that uh, in future when Origin PC um, when they refresh the Eon 11S um, hopefully they can address some of the things that I've mentioned um, so hope this has helped you guys um, in um, making a decision on whether this is a laptop for you and so thank you guys for watching this uh, video review uh, of the Eon 11S and so uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, um, please uh, leave a comment in the um, below. And so, please also like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. So, thank you guys uh, for watching, and um, have a good day.